So as you can see, this is another one of my video blogs because I need to rest my wrist as much as possible, which means I have to cut back on typing and cooking and playing the piano. Anything I could do to avoid surgery or damaging my wrist more is a good thing. What's been helping me a lot is this little massage thingy that I found at Big Lots for five dollars. It's a brand name. It's good when I find it for five dollars. Turn it on on the top like this and it glows and vibrates. So, on Saturday I worked. It was a zoo because it was the Saturday before Father's Day. Everyone's going out and buying all their Father's Day gifts last minute. They tried to put me on a register. I couldn't do it. There's only a certain range of motion I have with my hands now that they're in pain and injured. So, I couldn't do anything about that. I know that the CSMs were kind of like grr at me because I couldn't be on a register, but I can't do anything about that. And I'm pretty sure I have some kind of nerve damage because on these three digits of my hands, they're numb. And that arm gets tingly for no reason. I'm going to look into that, trust me. I was supposed to go home, I thought, at 4. But Eddie told me that I had to go home at 3. Yay for me. I went home, I was feeling kind of depressed, I wanted to talk to Tuck, but I couldn't get a hold of him, I needed to tell him some things, but, you know, I couldn't do anything about not being able to get a hold of him, so, I went to sleep for a while, and when I woke up, Pam was like, are you ready to go? Because I was supposed to go to a club with her, and I was like, no, you might as well go without me, because I'm a wreck right now, I'm a mess, you know, she's like, no, come on, it'll be fun, so, I got dressed really quick, I went out with her, Mr. Dick, David, Manuel, Marcy, Carlos, and Carlos' friend Omar. We went to a club in Riverside, and it was a lot of fun, because I like to people watch, I like looking at interesting people, and there's a lot of interesting people to look at, a lot of nice dancers, and a fellow who looks like Mr. Men and Manson. And we didn't stay too long, it being, you know, Father's Day the next day and everything. Funny little thing, Fancy called Mr. Dick. Apparently there was a fight between two cholos, and they were stabbing each other <laughs> with razors that they found in the HBA section. Only in Ghetto of Oldham Park would this happen, I'm assuming. <laughs> so, I talked to Tuck when I got home, which was a bad idea, because I didn't know, but he was drunk. And I was trying to tell him things, and he wasn't taking it well because he was irritated as it was, and, yeah. I got things squared away for that night, but there's still some things to be discussed. So, at 3 in the morning, some lovely, nice boys decided to bang on my brother's window as loud as they possibly can, waking up my parents, making them go in there and say, you know, go away, he's not home. They then went to the front door. My parents told them, my brother's not home. So, they decided to throw a rock at my brother's window and bail. The cops came. Nothing could be done, apparently. You know, they bailed. What they can they do? When I woke up this morning, somebody wrote, Fuck Jerry, on my car. Real mature. Really a problem solver. Totally. So, when I woke up this morning, I had to go to Big Lots because my lovely and wonderful friend Jackie graduated from high school and I wanted to give her a special gift. And what I did was I took a picture of a drawing that I did on my wall. And I showed her this picture in 2003. I drew it on her pants. <laughs> we were hanging out at a bowling alley and I drew on them. And she really liked the picture. She really liked what I drew, which was really cool. You know, I was inspired by her. And I wanted to give her something really special because I love her a lot, and this is what I do. I like to give her a personalized little gift. So I need a printer paper so I could give it to her. And this was the result of what I did for her. I gave it to her today and she really loved it and I'm really glad that she did because she means a lot to me. She's very, very special to me and 
I can't explain to you how much of an inspiration she's been for the past four years that I've known her. She's very cool, and I know that God's going to take her to so many great places. So, today I went to the Verizon store because yesterday I accidentally dropped my phone at work. Didn't think much of it since the screen still worked and everything, but my camera broke. It was like taking pictures with a night vision camera. The nice lady at Verizon store switched out my phone for a completely brand new one. Same brand and everything, but, you know, the camera worked and everything. The only thing I needed to replace was the ringtones. Awesome, right? Yeah, totally. So, uh, we had a barbecue at my house for my dad, and my grandparents came over, my uncle and my cousins came over. We went swimming, we ate lots of good food. I gave my dad his Father's Day gift was, um, <laughs> he collects toys, uh, all kinds of toys. And right now he likes collecting Mr. Potato Heads in costumes. He has the Spider-Man one, and I bought him the Optimus Prime one, which was really, like, he really liked it. And he came into my room and he said, thank you for the gift. Me and my dad don't have a strong relationship. Well, it's stronger than it used to be. We didn't really start talking until I was 16. He's been in my life, but not a real strong presence. I've only ever told him I loved him maybe five times in my adult life, which is very difficult for me to tell him because we're not that close. You know, the way we are now, I wouldn't have it any other way. This is the way it is, and this is what I'm happy with. So... Today, all in all, was a good day, and this weekend was a really fun weekend. Tomorrow is photo shoot day with Amelinda. I get to see her after like a million years, I swear. And um, we're going to take pictures, we're going to hang out, and later on this week, on Friday, I get to pick up Zach. We're going to hang out this weekend. We're going to go to a club, dance, and spend some time together. I really don't know where this relationship is right now. I mean, I know where it is, but I don't know what to become of it. And that scares me because I really do love him. He's very special to me. He means a lot to me. He's helped me a lot, but I just don't know what to make of this anymore, which depresses me and makes me sad, but I know I've gone through a lot of stuff, and I know I could get through this, and I know no matter what happens, but there's only one man that's never left my side, that's always going to be my side, that'll always help me throughout anything, and that's Jesus, and that's all I need. So, I guess that's it for right now. I'll try not to post too many of these, but I need to rest my arms, so I guess that's it for today.